Ah, the laws of physics. One thing we can all rely on at least. You know that things fall downwards and nothing can go faster than light. A little comfort in an otherwise crazy world. But wait. Not even the laws of physics can be relied on anymore. From the rock that doesn't roll to the ultimate helicopter glitch, here's the 20 craziest things that defy the laws of physics. <sighs> Number 20. Krishna's Butterball. Krishna's Butterball is a large granite boulder in Mamalapuram, a historic coastal resort town in Tamil Nadu, India, that sits on a hill. It is a popular tourist attraction since it is part of the Mamalapuram Group of Structures, a UNESCO World Heritage Site built as Hindu holy structures by the Pallava dynasty in the 7th and 8th century CE. What's so special about it? Well, this rock violates all all the laws of physics. It has been recognized as a protected national monument by the Archaeological Survey of India. The boulder's name may come from Lord Krishna stealing butter from his mother's butter handy on multiple occasions. Indira Gandhi, who was on a city tour at the time, was credited with the present name Krishna's Butterball by a tour guide in 1969. The Pallava monarch Narasim Havarman, who reigned between 630 and 668 CE, attempted but failed to raise the boulder. The balance of this enormous stone boulder inspired the Indian Tamil emperor Raja Raja Chola 985-1014 CE, who created Tanjavur Bamai, which are never-falling mud dolls with a half-spherical base that returns the doll to its original position when pushed. In 1908, the city's then-governor, Arthur Havelock, attempted to move the boulder using seven elephants due to safety concerns, but was unsuccessful. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Helicopter Glitches Out if you've ever viewed helicopter footage, you've probably noticed that the blades appear to rotate in unusual patterns, sometimes leisurely and sometimes frenetic, but every now and then, you get the illusion they don't appear to be moving at all. And it's always weird. The shutter speed on a camera causes all kinds of chopper blade craziness. A camera can only take one image at a time, no matter how quickly it can shoot, and when it's filming something spinning as rapidly as a helicopter, blade. It's missing a lot of the action. That explains the strangeness in general, but the above video and others like it are a rarer occurrence when the blade rotation speed and the camera shutter speed are exactly aligned and every single frame captures the blade in the same spot. This is a similar but distinct illusion from the one you may have seen in photos of propeller planes shot with digital cameras, in which propellers seem to turn in weird, impossible, and alien ways. A very creepy glitch. Number 18. Real-life Indian Spider-Man scales buildings. Meet the real-life Spider-Man, who mounts skyscrapers with ease using just his hands, Jyoti Raju, 27, has become well-known in his home India as a result of his extraordinary abilities. He often dazzles tourists at a 17th century fort near Chitradurja by sprinting up and mounting the colossal structure in a couple of seconds. Jyoti began climbing as a child in Tamil Nadu, but it wasn't until nine years ago, after relocating to Karnataka, that he successfully ascended a structure without the use of ropes. After images of his feet were shown on local media. Jyoti became instantly famous in India. 
for taking on the fort in Chitra Durja. Jyoti claims that he practices his amazing achievements all over the place. He said every day is practice for me since I practice any place at home in the woods to pass the time I practice. The modest climber claims that he receives tips from all kinds of visitors who ask him to pose for photos after his climbs. Jyoti, who teaches climbing to local children, now aspires to tackle the world's tallest skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa. Number 17. Vertical Driving Casey Curry, a professional off-road racer, is climbing in a Jeep Gladiator Rubicon at around 90 degrees in this video. Crazy! While this Jeep has been upgraded with 42-inch tires and a more flexible suspension, it was designed from the start to be a lightweight climbing machine. So what is it about Jeeps that makes them suitable for scaling steep rock walls and boulder climbing? Jeeps come equipped with a number of characteristics characteristics that make them perfect for the extreme form of off-roading, known as rock walling, right out of the box. The Wrangler Rubicon, for example, has a 44-degree approach angle owing to its short wheelbase, super flat front end, 33-inch tires, and 10.8-inch ground clearance. The greatest angle of a slope that your vehicle may climb without hitting its front bumper is called approach angle. This may be the difference between scaling a steep chute and destroying your front end on the most tough off-road routes. The Wrangler also features solid axles in the front and back, which means each set of wheels is connected by a single beam. Other off-road SUVs, such as Mercedes G-Wagon Benz, have independent front suspension, which means the wheels move independently. This results in a more comfortable ride, improved handling, and improved fuel efficiency. Solid axles, on the other hand, are more durable and provide better wheel articulation. As a result, both wheels remain firmly planted. When one wheel on an axle is forced to move up on an uneven, rocky hill, the other wheel on that axle naturally drops down. When you combine it with Jeep's ability to automatically separate the pieces that keep your car from swaying side to side, you have virtually unlimited freedom when tackling the most difficult terrain. Number 16. Daredevil Ibex Goat Brian Cox, the host of the BBC program Forces of Nature, visited a dam in Italy's Antrona Valley Natural Park. Wild alpine ibex are frequently spotted, mounting the dam's near vertical walls in order to reach the mineral salt reserves hidden beneath the stones. This mineral salt is an essential component for their diet. Cox's camera team recorded a wonderful shot of a newborn ibex scaling up the wall following his mother, who was leading the way, while keeping an eye on the baby ibex. Any of numerous species of wild goat with large recurved horns that are traversely rigid in front is known as an ibex. Eurasia, North Africa, and East Africa are all home to ibex. Ibex is a Latin word derived from Iberian or Aquitanian roots, similar to Old Spanish becerro, bull, and contemporary Spanish becerro, yearling. Ibex may live for 20 years and range in height from 27 to 43 inches and weight from 200 to 270 pounds. The markhor and the feral goat are two closely related wild wild goat species that are not commonly referred to as ibex, ibex remains may be found across the archaeological record, especially in the Near East and Mediterranean areas. Ibex motifs can be seen on both painted and embossed cylinder seals and ceramics. Excavations in Knossos, for example, have uncovered Minoan Crete artifacts dating from around 1800 BC, including a cylinder seal depicting an ibex defending himself against a hunting dog. Number 15. Magnetic Hill in Le Ladakh 
a short piece of road located 30 kilometers from Le City on the Le Carguil Highway defies gravity. It is known as the Magnetic Hill in Ladakh, and it is a popular tourist destination in the valley as well as a convenient stop for motorcyclists on the highway. There are several ideas that try to explain this unusual miracle of nature, with the exception of some kooky theories like the Magnetic Road is a stairway to heaven. They all suggest logical explanation and are supported by solid argument. But let's hear one of those crazy theories first. Villagers on Ladakh's Magnetic Hill believe that once upon a time, there was a route that went to heaven. Those who deserved it were dragged straight to the road, while those who didn't could never get there. Another commonly held belief is that the hill is not a source of magnetic force, but rather an optical illusion created by the downslope of the road appearing to be an upslope. As a result, when a car appears to be driving uphill, it is actually going downhill. Some people believe that the magnetic hills are the same as gravity hills, which may be found all over the world. Tulshishyam in Gujarat, Electric Bray in Scotland, and Gansu in China are some of the most well-known gravity hills. Number 14. Invisible Box Challenge the internet has been a buzzin' about the Invisible Box Challenge for a while now. If you missed it, the trend began when Texas high school cheerleader Ariel Olivar placed a clear box in front of her and stepped on it in a now viral video. The footage has been seen over 16.3 million times, earning Ariel an invitation to appear on the Today Show. Now you're gonna pat about a foot off the ground. Now remember where your hand is? and put your foot there. But before that, Dantes Hines, a defensive back at Anderson University in Anderson, Indiana, pulled the trick with over 6.3 million views. Take a look at it here. It also led to a bunch of other celebs attempting and generally failing to replicate the trick. Justin Bieber, the cast of SNL, and Logan Paul were among them. Many regular people taking part in the challenge, on the other hand, aren't doing so well. There are typically 10 uns successful tries for every successful invisible box challenge attempt. There's a reason why the gravity-defying technique is so difficult for so many people. For starters, it's not simply your legs that are in charge of getting the job done. Your entire body has to engage to hold one leg in place while the other leg is in motion. But it's not only about having big muscles. What matters most is how your muscles interact with one another. Number 13. Modern Shaolin Warrior the Shaolin Monastery was dubbed the heart of Kung Fu by Hollywood when it was first discovered 50 years ago. The temple, which is shrouded in legend, contains 400 monks. 100 of them are warrior monks, but what Hollywood fails to see is that Kung Fu is a spiritual exercise for these monks, not just a fighting skill. That conviction is exemplified by the unusual final test to become a Shaolin master. It takes years and hundreds of hours of focus practice to get to the point where you can take the test. The test includes examinations in both Kung Fu and Buddhist teachings. There's a lot of pressure on the monks to succeed, especially since if he fails, he'll have to wait three years to try again. Kung Fu is supposed to have started as a technique for monks to keep physically strong enough to sit in solitary meditation for hours on end. The monks employed their martial art to protect themselves and the surrounding communities, and the abilities they earned through practice came in handy. Perfecting the craft is now considered a sign of spiritual mastery, each monk picks a specialty during the course of his education. In response to a student's difficulties, a guru offers an insight into Kung Fu's spiritual aspect. Because of what's inside, you're having trouble doing it well, your mind isn't in a good place. The monk must also demonstrate his spiritual mastery. The masters will ask him to repeat a portion from one of the more than 200 pages of mantras available to him. This truly is the ultimate test of body and soul. Number 12. Master of Balance 
Rocky Byun, an artist, can find the balance point in anything. Including rocks, furniture, and motorbikes, he produces stunning sculptures that appear to defy gravity. As a balancing artist headquartered in Tanshion, South Korea, Byun has discovered harmony in his art and life, thanks to his thorough study of physics and zen-like attitude to his work. Byun's talents and career are based on his unique aptitude for finding the balance point in everything he has gained critical acclaim for transforming ordinary, everyday events and objects into high-end art. Byun explains, Every time I see a new object, I think about how to find its balance point. I enjoy taking on seemingly insurmountable projects. A number of ancient academics investigated the nature and mechanism of gravity. Objects fell towards the Earth, according to Aristotle, since the Earth was the center of the universe and attracted all the mass in the universe to it. Aryabhata, an Indian mathematician and astronomer, was the first to discover gravity, which explains why objects are not pushed away from the Earth by the planet's rotational centrifugal force. Number 11. Hydrophobic Water Hydrophobicity is the physical attribute of a molecule that seems to be repelled by a mass of water in chemistry. Hydrophiles, on the other hand, are drawn to water, surfaces that are exceptionally difficult to wet, such as the leaves of the lotus plant, are known as super hydrophobic. A water's droplets contact angles reach 150 degrees when on a lotus leaf, meaning it rolls right off. This is known as the lotus effect, which is essentially a physical feature linked to interfacial tension rather than a chemical characteristic. Alkanes, oils, fats, and greasy compounds in general are examples of hydrophobic molecules. Oil removal from water oil spill control, and chemical separation techniques to separate nonpolar chemicals from polar ones all involve hydrophobic materials. Lipophilic or fat-loving is a term that is frequently used interchangeably with hydrophobic. The term hydrophobe is derived from the ancient Greek word hydrophobos, which means having a fear of water, so now you know what to call your buddy who's afraid to jump in the ocean. Number 10. Cairo Floating Stones the two stones in this clip, one holding up the other with a piece of rope, clearly seems to defy the laws of physics. This sculpture can be seen at Cairo Airport, and it has made millions of people wonder at how it works. At first, it seems that something about the sculpture is a little off, and at second glance, it appears to be totally crazy. It is. How did the engineers manage to suspend the stones in midair? Is the question on everyone's lips. Well, we have the answer. It's a work of art. Its creator, Shaban Muhammad Abbas, was an award-winning modern sculptor who died on November 17, 2010, at the age of 41. Abbas's artwork may be seen at a number of Egyptian institutions, including the Museum of Modern Egyptian Art in Cairo, the new Cairo International Airport, and the Garden Museum. Museum at Gezira Art Center, Cairo, according to this article on the Egyptian government's official website for fine art. Number 9. Ramsetu Floating Stone the mystery of Ramsetu, the floating stone of Rameshwaram, has persisted for years. Even after experts have confirmed the mystery of the flying stones, many are still skeptical of the solutions. The Ramsetu floating stone enigma has led to a slew of amazing findings that have left us speechless. The Ramsetu floating stone bridge is a natural bridge made of limestone, according to experts. However, according to Hindu legend, Lord Rama and his Varana Sena actually built the bridge. He built the bridge to reach Sri Lanka in order to save his wife Sita from Ravana, who was holding her captive. How romantic! Surprisingly, the carbon analysis of the bridge and the time in the Ramayana texts are in sync. Ramsetu could be walked across until 1480 AD. Scientific evidence, on the other hand, contradicts all this when it comes to the Ramsetu floating stone. For millennia, a conflict has raged between science and spiritual 
belief. Spirituality is based on faith, whereas science is based on proof and facts. Remsetu floating stone might just be pumice stones, according to scientists. Pumice stones are comprised of a solidified lava froth that is ejected after a volcanic eruption. Because the volcano has a high pressure within, the lava that flows out of it does not instantly sink, where it comes into contact with the cool water. The temperature differential between the water and the lava causes a chilly shock when the lava strikes the water. As a result, it suddenly freezes. The trapped air bubbles inside the stone give it a spongy look, allowing it to float in the water. Number 8. Fire Under a Waterfall the Eternal Flame Falls is a small waterfall in the Shale Creek Preserve, which is part of Chestnut Ridge Park in western New York. Natural gas is emitted from a small cavern near the waterfall's base. From a small cavern near the waterfall's base, which can be set alight to start a small fire, this flame may be seen virtually all year. However, it does burn out periodically and must be relit. Tourists have been flocking to what was formerly regarded as a mysterious attraction in the region as a consequence of news coverage and changes to the access route. The fall's popularity has had some negative implications, including an increase of litter, graffiti, pollution, and tourist impacts on the surrounding area. Geologists from Indiana University Bloomington and Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology investigated Eternal Flame Falls in 2013 to learn more about how natural gas produced from naturally occurring hydrocarbon seeps contributes to greenhouse gas emissions in the atmosphere. According to the experts, the leak near the falls is expected to release roughly one kilogram of methane every day. According to one geologist involved in the 2013 study, the likely source of the seep might provide evidence for a previously unknown geologic mechanism by which natural gas is formed within shale. Number 7. Singad Waterfall – Water Flowing Upwards Every monsoon, the Indian subcontinent transforms into a natural wonderland. Cascading waterfalls, deep greenscapes, and the fragrance of the earth take over and leave everlasting images of beauty and amazement in the eyes of those who witness them. The reversing waterfall, which occurs along the country's western ghats, is one such awe-inspiring monsoon phenomena. The flow of water appears to defy the rules of physics by moving upwards against gravity's pull. When a cataract lowers towards the river body, and strong monsoon winds force a huge volume of water upstream, the reverse flow of water occurs. This spray produced is thick enough to match the volume of a little waterfall, and the upwards firing creates the illusion of water falling into the sky. The Nain Gat Mountain Pass, which runs between the Konkan Coast and the Desan Plateau, is the most popular place in India to see a reverse waterfall. Thousands of visitors go to the Ghat to see the severe rains and bizarre water displays. On the road to Tahuli Mountain, 20 kilometers from Nashik, the tranquil town of Engineer also has an upside-down waterfall. The reversing waterfall with a height of 2,000 feet may be seen at Simrad Village, Santan Valley near Mumbai, Kavalshet Point near Pune, has roughly 10 minor waterfalls and a line of reverse waterfalls that ornament the land like pearls. Sightings have also been reported at Sinhagat Fort, which is located between Kalyan and Ahmednagar in Maharashtra along the Malshej Ghat. Number 6. M Drive NASA's Impossible Space Thruster Spaceflight is difficult. To get heavy freight, spacecraft, and maybe humans to acceptable speeds over interplanetary distances, not to mention the luxury of stopping at destinations, existing rockets need a vast quantity of fuel. That is, unless you have a thrust generating engine that does not require fuel at all. It may seem implausible, but NASA's Eagle Works laboratories have been developing and testing such a device. The physics defying machine, dubbed an M 
Gundam Drive reportedly generates propulsion by bouncing microwaves around inside a confined cone-shaped chamber with no fuel required. The gadget was recently in the news in late 2016 when the results of the current phase of NASA testing were published in leaked research. Now independent, German researchers have built their own M-Drive to test revolutionary propulsion concepts and determine whether their apparent success is real or an artifact. Until today, when a team led by Martin Tajmar discovered the truth about what's actually going on behind the scenes, as it turns out, this ostensibly impossible space engine is just too good to be true. He said that rockets, to the best of our understanding, will still require some kind of propellant. The M-Drive isn't a totally reactionless drive, and all physical laws should still apply. In other words, we tricked ourselves about this one. Or is it just a cover-up until they release it for real? Number 5. Starlight, the Miracle Material Which Went Into Hiding Maurice Ward, a hairdresser and amateur scientist from Hartlepool, Yorkshire, England, created Starlight, a revolutionary plastic coating in 1986. When Starlight was first shown on the BBC's Tomorrow's World in 1990, it was quickly recognized as the game-changing chemical that scientists and military officials had hoped for. A heat-resistant substance capable of shielding against the heat of nuclear explosions, according to Ward, Starlight could withstand up to 75 nuclear explosions. Ward never registered his invention because he was worried Starlight might make him famous, and he was concerned about his ability to keep his recipe secret. Ward, on the other hand, proved tough to work with, constantly altering his asking price and being unwilling to loan samples for testing. The governmental authorities and industries who rushed to buy the rights and formula for Ward's secret discovery all failed, and Ward's expected large payment was lost. Ward passed away in 2011. A starlight-coated egg was exposed to a ludicrous level of heat in a long-ago Tomorrow's World episode, and though it got scorched, it was ultimately broken open to show a perfectly beautiful yolk that had been untouched by the fire. For the time being, whatever starlight is, as well as whether or not the aerospace industry and military groups have secretly continued to work with Ward, Ward's innovation remains a mystery. Number 4. The Lard's Wheel, a wheel that never stops. Villard de Huncourt was a northern French artist who lived in the 13th century. Only a surviving portfolio or sketchbook featuring around 250 drawings and designs on a wide range of themes has survived, apart from what may be gained from his surviving sketchbook. Nothing is known about Villard. Villard is generally regarded to have been a successful professional nomadic architect and engineer based on the enormous number of architectural projects in his portfolio. There is no proof that he ever worked as an architect, and the designs contain significant mistakes, therefore this view is sometimes questioned today. Uncourt, on the other hand, also created a manual with detailed directions and illustrations for various certain machines. In his publications, he combined ancient mathematical ideas, medieval studio procedures, and day-to-day -day activities, technical innovations, mechanical devices, recommendations for constructing human and animal figures, and observations on the structures and monuments he had seen are all included in the author's book. In addition to giving an explanation for the development of Gothic architecture throughout Europe, his writings provide insight into the many interests and labor of the 13th century master mason. There are over 250 drawings in the album, architectural designs, a wide range of human and animal subjects, ensembles of religious religious and secular figures derived from or intended as sculptural groups, ecclesiastical objects, mechanical devices, including a perpetual motion machine, engineering constructions such as lifting devices and a water-driven saw, a number of automata, designs for war engines such as a trebuchet, and a number of automata are among them. In short, this was one of the most underrated inventors of all time. Number 3. The Rattleback, The Alien Thing 
A rattleback is a semi-ellipsoidal top that rotates in a certain direction on its axis. It becomes unstable when spun in the other direction, rattles to a halt, and then reverses its spin to the favored direction. The conservation of angular momentum appears to be broken by this spin reversal. Furthermore, when rattlebacks are spun in one way, the motion occurs, but not when the rattleback is spun in the other direction. When spun in either direction, certain rattlebacks will reverse. As a result, the rattleback is a physical marvel that has piqued human interest since prehistoric times. In the 19th century, archaeologists investigating ancient Celtic and Egyptian sites discovered Celtic artifacts with the spin reversal action. Rattleback artifacts are usually made of stone and are available in a variety of sizes. Modern novelty rattleback puzzles and toys are often made of plastic, wood, or glass and range in length from a few inches to 12 inches. You can also make a rattleback by bending a spoon. A man named Emmanuel Peluchon creates larger rattlebacks up to 8 feet long on request for scientific museums. There are two different sorts of rattleback designs. They are either asymmetrical with a skewed rolling axis or symmetrical with offset weights at the ends. Either way, they will totally bend your mind as much as they bent the minds of the ancient Celts. Number 2. Mysterious Cloud in Morocco Following its release on YouTube last Wednesday, a video purporting to depict cloud-like forms covering the ground in the Moroccan province of Dukala was extensively circulated on social media. The entire region is coated with a thick foam-like material in the video. Over footage, large bits of the mystery substance were seen rolling on the ground as though carried by the wind. The folks who shot it described the strange material as amazing. The guy who filmed it all stated that that he had never seen anything like that before and thinks it could be clouds that have fallen from the sky. I've never seen clouds fall to the ground before. It's strange, he said. The oddity of the material and rarity of such the occurrence split YouTube users on the most plausible explanation for the thick foam's appearance. Some speculated that it was caused by chemtrails, a long-running conspiracy that claims harmful poisons are intentionally sprayed from planes onto the general population for evil and intentions. The scientific world has discarded this hypothesis. Others believe they are genuine clouds that have fallen to the earth, while others believe the stuff is simply river foam swept over by the wind. Number 1. Bird Glitch the decade of the 2020s has given us a slew of unexpected events and circumstances. It seemed like things are just becoming weirder by the day. This time, a static pigeon is involved. Yep, it's that weird. A bird appears to be stopped in mid-flight in a video provided by Instagram user Deza Bedrowski. It shows a white bird suspended in mid-air, its wings wide open, over a two-story house. Scott C. Waring, a self-described UFO specialist, attempted to explain what was truly going on in the film, claiming it was the phenomenon of missing time. Now, this is something you don't see every day, remarked ET database warring in a report. According to their theory, the 5G antenna created a time bubble, and this poor pigeon was unfortunate enough to get stuck in it. Anybody wanna let the little guy out of there? Do you still believe in the laws of physics after all that crazy stuff? What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen break the laws of physics? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!